what that looks like. Season shop is gold. We finished rank 88. This is our sand core converted over into... Or is that sand core? Whatever. We got 4,694 and I had 1,700 left over from last season that I didn't use. This is the amount of essence that we used. Is that the amount of essence that I'm going to start with this season? It is. 119,000. That's pretty good. But I did do a lot of summons. 10 dice. We got 700 worm arrow. And then we've got the 20 scrolls. There's our new affinity matchups. Elemental matchups. New stage mechanic. Experience redesigned stages with brand new mechanics. New equipment and bosses. New heroes. Hmm. I don't know. I like my fire horse. Season one horse to me is the best one. Yeah, I didn't get this one. And I don't like this one. When people are on it, the wings look weird. Like, I don't know. It just kind of looks... This this horse or unicorn would look cool without the wings, I feel like. For me. Oh, this one's big. Almost looks like you're riding a dinosaur. <laughs> Where do we change our horses? Appearance? There we go. All right, let's see what we need to do. Total energy consumed 50,000. Total gold consumed 342 million. 22 legendaries obtained. Hey, that's pretty damn good for the season. I gained 22 legendaries. Is that for the season or just for the whole total time I've been playing this game? First met was his Polta. Okay, so it's 22 this season. That's a lot of legendaries. That's a lot, man. We're level one, 64, level 100 heroes. Damage dealt to a boss up in the um, billions. I don't know. That's way more than that. What is that? Damage rank 68. Oh, this is when we did the in-game, in-game boss. This big guy right here. My rank was 68 total there. Vortex, highest damage done was 96 million. Highest rank, 75. Goblin layer. <laughs> highest stage. I should have done some speed runs. 36 seconds over here. Fire, flame domain, flame domain, goblin, goblin. What was goblin 3? 26 seconds on goblin 3. Grave of Venom, only 40 seconds? Come on, I can do better than that. Grave of Curse. Grave of Rot, 38 seconds. Ancient Battlefield, 1 minute, 39 seconds. Ha. This one should be faster too. Heretical Runes should be way faster than 45 seconds. That's easy to take down the boss. Famiander, 180, 60, 60. We cleared both of those. Gladiator Arena, rank 32. Okay, let's go to the shop. Let's see what we've got. Are you a whale? Mm, no. I buy all these starting... Thanks. That's it. That's all I buy, really. Where where's the starting artifact? No, it won't be here. It'll be down here in this shop. I buy all of these, which I guess goes to two hundred dollars, somewhere around two hundred, two hundred and ten dollars, because they're double right now. Like this is the best deal you'll ever get in this game, and it resets every season. So I buy all of those, two hundred and ten bucks, whatever it adds up to. I buy these for two months. And then I don't even think I buy these on the very last month. I must buy this on the very last month to where it gives me additional slots. This one down here for $4.99. And I should buy that. Yeah, I buy these for three months. So that's $30, $45. So let's just say $250. I spend $250 every season, whatever that is, converted to three months. So divided by three. $250 divided by three, what's that? $75, something like that. A month? That's what I spend. 36 legendaries, most of them fully scrolled? Yeah. I'm I don't know if that's a whale or not. Every season spending 250 bucks. 
over three months. I don't really consider that a whale. The thing is, I would spend more money, but they don't ever have any good deals. I'm hoping the company that takes this over, like the new company that takes all of this over, starts coming out with deals. Just dice deals. I don't need these deals they keep coming out with to where they throw in these legendary scrolls and then make it expensive. It's not. 16 dice for $9.99, $100 is not worth it. I just want dice. I don't need any of this other garbage. And they always do it. They always add something to the scrolls to try to inflate the price. And I don't buy it. They need to have the weekend pop-up deals like all other games have, right? The cool deals pop up for a few days. They don't, I say pop-up deals, but they don't need to pop up. They don't need to be in your face or pop up at all. All they have to do is have a little banner up here at the top, like where it says Fade Meander. They could have a really small one that says new deals and has a little sparker on it. And if you want to go over there and see what they are, you can. They don't need to pop up in your face. We all know that. But they do need to have some kind of deals. <laughs> Better deals. 100 a month is a dolphin? Mm, I don't know. I think that's just like almost free to play. Somewhere around almost free to play. New season shop gold. What is this pedal shop? Ah, this is when we fight... For her at 30 days. We start doing that at 30 days. But why are these old ones in the pedal shop too? That's actually pretty cool. But they're not. This is pretty nice. So if you didn't want to get her. You could get one of the older heroes. Now I do want to get her. But if you've been playing for a while. And you didn't get Ardrith. You should still get her. And then get Ardrith maybe next season. Because I doubt you'll get enough pedals to be able to get both and i see here that we can is this to ascend her no these are just additional pedals to buy stuff with but why aren't they in this kind of shop why aren't they in the mid-season shop that we get with sancor like they were before only he is oh sorry i gotta go to the new season there we go But where's the rank up to rank these up? Oh, Ardra Seal. There we go. So at the end of this season, we'll be able to buy inspirations for Ardrith and all the prior legendaries. Well, Utier is not in here, though. That's kind of dumb. I don't like this. Like, why do they only do it for that one season? They need to have all prior legendaries in the shop full time. The season shop. It shouldn't be that I come in here and I only see two prior to it, right? Is in the he's in the last season yeah but they shouldn't do that it should be all here that way if they ever do convert the game to everybody playing on the same exact season we're all playing the same exact season same day but you're all on different servers from when you started so nobody's competing against people that have been playing for a long time this way when we're all in the same exact season you come into the shop and you see all the older legendaries if you're a brand new player and you zone right into season seven you start playing the game with everyone else that way, when you end Season 7, you can see all the previous legendaries and you can have a chance to be able to get them and you know to save up to get them if you want to. That way, you got to have you got to have some kind of like gold, silver, bronze. Actually, gold, silver, bronze is fine. And then you need to have a tab over here that has the heroes and that has the previous artifacts. So if anybody comes in and starts playing and missed any of those, they have a chance to pick them up when they can save up enough to get them. All right, where do I use my scrolls? There we go, 20 scrolls, and then here's the Season 4 banner. But I'm not going to summon on the Season 4 banner. I'm saving all my dice for the Oak event. Whenever the Oak event comes out, or I will go do some exclusive banner. Exclusive, do they call them exclusive? The blessed banners? The different ones. The ones where we get a chance to get one hero that we pick. No hero reset event? I don't know. I don't know if they have that. And I'm not even going to summon on this for 80 until I see if the Oak event's going to come out. So I'll just wait. Although we can't summon here for some good epics. There's a lot of cool epics. I want to get Mira the the Frost epic. But let's see what we get here. Good luck to everybody that's going to summon. What am I looking for? I will take the Thunderbolt girl. The fire guy. This one is pretty cool here. Is support. Like this is actually a pretty cool one. I'll take that. The rest I really don't care about. What is this? 
Oh, people can get Sonaro from the scrolls? And Finya? That's pretty sweet. This depends on what level scroll you have. If you have a higher level scroll, then you'll only get heroes from... You have to be ranked 1 to 50. You'll get heroes that are only from the new season. Okay, let's go. Good luck, everyone. I hope you get some sweet legendaries. But out of all those legendaries I saw, I think I have everything. Give me some cool new epics. Don't I have all of these? Like the older ones? I have his pulse. I have her. I have... Uh, I don't have her, but I don't want her. Okay, I don't have Whisk. I will take Whisk. I do have Fathoms Down, and I have Sonaro, and I have Finya since I rolled for her. <laughs> but it only took us 26 to get her. All right, let's go. Not going down one at a time? No, I'll do five for now just to see, because we got the guaranteed... Hey, the, oh, this is a new exclusive. What? Isn't this a new exclusive support? It's not. It's not. The other exclusive support is the other cat. But this one is the wild one that we were testing out. Yeah, the, uh, the other exclusive is the, the other cat with the shield or whatever. But this one is the one that will turn everybody on themselves. They'll, they'll turn their, each, each of the ally enemies on their teammates. They'll attack the person with the lowest HP, I think. Lowest attack. The whole entire team and then they'll force on the battle skill he'll force one person to attack your ally with the highest hp so it seems pretty interesting and we and i didn't really get to play him much and we got the new summon girl here that summons this wolf that looks pretty cool but she was doing really bad damage extremely bad damage okay now we can do them one at a time i guess that way if we hit legendary we're done we don't summon any more we only get a guaranteed legendary at an early pity system of 10. So if we get it before, well, if we get it before 10, there's no use in summoning seven scrolls here. You don't get anything. Yeah, appreciate it. It looks like it's going to be a pretty fun hero to play with. He's not going to go in any of my teams for Vortex. Probably not Chief Challenge, because it won't really affect a Chief Challenge. We'll use him in Fae, we'll use him in Pillar, we'll try him out in PvP and see how he works out. If I didn't get him, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. It wouldn't have been like... It wouldn't have changed my account either way, but it does look like a fun hero to play with. There we go, early legendary, come on! Uh, Felosia? Oh, we can't get Felosia. I wish we could get Felosia. I want her so incredibly bad. Two new legendaries. I got two new legendaries last season from my dice as well. This guy does 12 hits, so we can put Witch's Remains on him. Buff Prohibition. He attacks the person with the highest attack, right? Doesn't he? Reduce the ultimate gauge. Oh, no. He reduces the ultimate gauge. Rushes to the enemy and strikes the enemy 12 times. There's a 100% chance to dispel all buffs from them. Stun them. Heals himself. Doesn't he attack the... Yeah, the enemy with the highest attack will be attacked first. If you can get the ultimate off. I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. Really. He does lower the attack by 30% on any boss we fight. So we could use him to come in there with Witch's Remains. Lay down buff prohibition. Put up Witch's Remains off of 12 hits very easily. And then he's also on his passive. Going to lower the attack by 30%. Which is pretty big. And fun. This is wild, though. I don't know how awesome this is. I think this is going to be pretty overpowered in Fey and in Pillar if it knocks down 25% every hit. That should be pretty strong. Hey, good ones. Really good ones. I'm happy about that. I got two of the new. All that's left are, you know... Whatever. I'm not summoning. <laughs> I'm not summoning for those heroes. There are no... Power exclusive heroes. No DPS exclusive. There's this guy. Which which one is it? The, this lightning guy. It's supposed to be a support exclusive. Not interested in. He doesn't have his own artifact. He doesn't do massive damage. He's just like a protector kind. To protect one of your allies. And then who is the other one? This guy? It's supposed to be the other exclusive. Which means they're very hard to get. But they don't have their own exclusive artifacts to increase their damage. And they're not damage dealers... Per se, anyways. So it's just not worth summoning on this banner. Okay, let's go play the game. Let's see what we've got. 
new necrotic support i want the actually let's do our purple i want the new ice blast cat the epic one maybe we'll pick her up here pretty sure her name's mira I forget that we can get legendaries from these. So when it does hit legendaries, it's still a huge surprise for me. We've only done it once. But I don't think anybody really opens these. Well, not, not if you've been playing for a long time like we have. Because we never had a chance before, so you don't even think about it when you're opening Starlight. Hey, we got the new, this guy. But I'm not going to use him for anything. A Thunderbolt Rare. Come on, Epic. Epic Ice Blast. Okay, the rare Ice Blast, and she does really good damage, but I won't use her unless I'm making a whole bunch of Ice Blast teams. I'm sure I can make three good Ice Blast teams. Cool Epic. And this artifact's pretty good for an epic artifact. It gives you 40 crit rate. Attack, attack, and 40 crit rate for a hero. I think it's a great artifact. And this one is to stop control ability. So if we do go up against Fey or Pillars and we need to make sure we don't get controlled, we can test this out. And like if we're getting stunned or charmed all the time, we can try that one out. And we for sure need to pick up this legendary artifact. Where is it at? The new poison, what's it called? Poison head? Exchange. Poison of swamp. Attack, critical damage. When the wearer receives healing, additionally gain 10 crit rate and 15 critical damage stacks up to three times. So if we're playing with fur bath, we need to have our DPS in this. It's going to be extremely strong. We're playing with a cilia or anybody that does recovery over time or just heals us kind of pulse healing we'll use that artifact that artifact is crazy crazy strong 45 critical damage in addition to our 80 that we get for leveling this out and 30 crit rate as long as we can keep it going what'd you get oh, oh did somebody tell me about your summons what'd you get captain i'm sorry i missed everybody's summons let me see let me go back up Oh, JR got some pulls too? Oh, man. I've been reading over everything. All this new stuff. JR, did you, say, did you post your summons? Zebra, Pegasus, Unicorn. Those are for our mounts. I'm going back through chat really quick. I want to see what people got. Look at my pools in chat. What do you mean in chat? Everybody's summoning right now. Swift death got this guy. We've got a whisk over here. That's pretty nice. I don't know where you're at, buddy. There's so many people summoning right now. Everybody's summoning. Yeah, I don't see your name. I got the one that, that I needed. The new Ice Blast and the new Necrotic Support. Congrats. I got Whisk and the Aura Guy. Okay, we'll see how that Aura Guy does with your Aura teams. And Whisk is always a good pickup. Oh, you got the Midnight. Midnight, you got a good pull there with that support one. I think that support's really good. I mean, we always need great support, and it lowers the defense by 30%. I've been playing her a lot, and I think she's she's pretty powerful, especially for Necrosis. Oh, I don't know why I'm looking here. It's not like I have that hero. Especially for Necrosis. Yeah, she's good. Grave, what'd you get? Grave said, good luck. Yeah, good luck to you too, my man. I hope you got something good. Second legendary is Miro. Another Ice Blast. 
This does. This triggers heal over time because it does multiple heals here every second. So you could use it on somebody with the horn to get damage out to your allies, or you could use it. Uh, you could use that poison of the swamp on your DPS with this hero too. I don't know how long it's going to stay up and if it drops off, because it only does it on this ultimate, but it does pulse over time. It's probably going to drop off. I don't know, maybe not. Twenty. It lasts for 15 seconds, right? It might drop off. I think I tested it with her. It drops off for like three seconds. You got the guy with the vulture too and the aura cat? Hey, congrats, Oreos. That's the one I got. Yeah, I got him. It's going to be wild playing him and seeing how this oriented charm works. Force the target to launch basic attacks on the ally with the lowest max HP. But it's AoE. Like, you're forcing all targets out there to do their basic attacks on their own ally, whoever has the lowest max HP. And it lasts for 10 seconds. So that's got to be strong. That means you're not taking all those basic attack hits. The enemy's taking it all. One enemy's taking it all from everyone else. That should be pretty damn strong with recharge speed penalty. And then this one makes them attack our guy on our team with the highest HP. And decrease attack. He's got to be useful, right? And he looks really sweet. Why did I do that? What'd you get? Did you post something bad? Is that like, not like a good screenshot we should look at? It just says an error. Hold on. I think I got to copy that whole link. Or maybe repost that if you can. You wanted this guy most of all? Yeah, I, don't, I really don't know how he's going to operate. We tried him on the test server. We were going through Faye. We were trying to climb up high into Faye. And we fought the new moth boss on the way there. But now we'll really get to see how, how he operates. We'll play him. We'll use him in Faye for our travel through there. We'll use him in PvP to see how he works. He's poison? Hmm. I don't know what team I'm going to use with him. I guess Furbath? Ogok? We've got plenty of support. Click on the new one. There we go. Now you summoned a lot of dice, right? Oh, you got the new cat? Miro, you got her, so three. JR got the new burn cat, which I, I didn't test her yet. How, how was it? Because you have Ash, so you've been testing all the burn people. Miro, and then you got this one as well. So good pulls. What, what is this new new down here at the bottom? Oh, you got these two as well? You're summoning all your dice? I don't want to summon my dice on that banner. I do not want to spend on that banner. Nice. You got a dupe on the purple dice. Let's go. 350 purple dice and you got a legendary hero. Yeah, I'm saving for Oak event for sure. I'm not summoning on it. This not none of these are worth it. Even if you pulled all of them, they're not worth it. I will say that if you do have perk, she's worth it. If you have perk and you want to have somebody that's ranged that puts a lot of overwhelm stacks up and that does good single target damage, she is definitely worth having with him. And then you could play those two together for everything. High single target, high AOE damage. But I don't have him, so I'm okay. Is actually amazing. He's crazy for what? What is he crazy for? Anything you can do with him, I can do it with the heroes I have. Name one thing he can do that we can't get through with the regular heroes that we have right now. You just want to spend money and roll dice, man. It's not worth it. Not worth it at all. All right, let's get on with the story. Let's see what we've got to do. The bells ring out. And we'll use my new hero. We'll definitely use the new poison hero I got. Fire or ice? I'm not sure. Do I want fire or ice? Which one out of fire and ice? Oh, when the oak festival when the oak festival comes, do you want to pick fire or ice? Hmm, ash or I don't know. It's kind of gotten. It's kind of has me wanting to try to pull for Ash and Laura as well. Those would be two sweet heroes to go after. But I don't know. Ice. I wouldn't want to go Ice because I don't want Hivatar, and I don't really. Well, Beldel would be fine. I'll take Beldel, but Hivatar, I don't want a chance to get. There are a lot of Ice heroes I'm missing, but I really like Lothair. I think Lothair and Rook are two that I'd have fun playing with obviously if i have rook you know <laughs> obviously so much good support i've got a lot of that i've got so many radiant support 
Now, what are we supposed to be doing? Find the fruitful vanny. Is that is that what we're doing right now? Is this how it started for everyone? So it, it just opens up. We can teleport anywhere we want, pretty much. We don't even have one of these to fight yet. I'm sure I would at level two. So as soon as we come over here to find Vanny, it's going to take us to level two and we can do one of the gate battles. But don't expect anything new. Like there shouldn't be anything new at all from season three to season four. They just haven't been able to do anything yet. All the developments going to that brand new company. So they just haven't been able to do anything. Code active. That's a new code. Let me try that. Yeah, good luck on anybody else doing summons. It looks like people got some really good stuff. Okay, there it unlocked. Now, where is it telling us to go way down there? Can we do Faye? Well, three floors, <laughs> three floors a day still, man. What? At least we can do it day one, but this is still sad. Yeah. Do I have any stamina? Or experience, actually? Do I have any experience at all? We need to go to the goblin cave. We don't have anybody with experience on. It's fire and poison, so we can do fire. We can bring out our new poison guy. We can have Carf light people up. I do love some Carf. Poison. Fur bath. Where is he? Where's our fur? Or should I be ready for Grave of Venom? Should I be getting my Garius and others ready for Grave of Venom? Where in the world is he? There he is. I'm, I'm now we can do Grave of Venom with this because we have Snarl. I mean, we can do anything with Snarl easily. All right, we got our new guy. This one. I must attend to this personally. <laughs> you will become another page in my tome of spells. And then who else? Sigrid? We could bring Sigrid in. I mean, he's going to put up debuffs for everybody. He's going to put up debuffs. Sigrid would come in and, and shoot everybody down. New goblin level farming? With my poison here, let him kill everybody? You think he's going to command all the goblins to attack each other and they're going to die? We'll try that out. That'd be pretty interesting to watch. Okay, no gear yet. Fur bath is at level one. We just used all of our experience. And then we just need to bring in some hitter. Some hitter. Who do we got? We got Dargo. We have Sacredia. We have the new and improved Stegamuffin, which is not still good. Durham. I really was enjoying uh Victor throughout the season. But let's let's throw in we've got some legendaries at Epic. Let's throw in a rare. Let's hear for honor. We haven't heard it enough. We need some more for honors. Okay, we start out with 10 times speed. <laughs> and we're dead. All right, let's go to Goblin Lair. I'm sure after a few runs of Goblin Lair, we'll come back and we'll be better off. We'll be able to beat this easy.
no gear right away. When do we get some rare gear? And where were the places that we went last season to get the epic gear? Oh, anybody pull up those videos. Where did we go last season to buy the epic gear? We'll go over to Goblin really fast to run a few stages, but then, no, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should go see if we can buy that gear. Anyone remember? It was one of these port towns. Southern Argus was FAMAS any anything in FAMAS? I know that one guy that runs north of here, we can find some gear on him. And then the um, Dragons, Dragon Spire, I think it's called. There's gonna be gear in there. So right here, but we've got no coin to do it. But is there epic gear? Well, where are we gonna get some coin then? We gotta do something to get coin. Level 20. Okay, we got to go to Goblin, I guess. Walking around. Yeah, there's a merchant up here that walks around and does some selling of it as well. But there were some... There was an epic over here. We need to pick up that epic. What's in Delver's Deep? Yeah, there is isn't. There is epic gear here, isn't there? Somebody pull up. Oh, there we go. Is that everything? Lifesaver. Oh, the runes too. But we don't have any gold. Okay, we'll redo a video on this, but I just want to make sure... Hold on. I'm going to get on the Twitch. And I want to make sure I post this in my Discord so I can refer to it later. Okay, I put it in my Discord, so I'll be able to come back to that. And plus, once we get some, once we get some gold, we'll come back to that too. I'll post in Discord. Uh, I have all of them. Was that all of them? Because I just posted whatever you wrote right there in Discord. If that's all the places. Yeah, appreciate it. Oh, there's more, or is that the same? That looks like more, so I'm gonna pin that comment. Okay, I've got yours pinned. Yeah, appreciate it. We'll go round that up once we get enough silver or gold to be able to do it with. We don't have any coin at all right now. And what are we going to do to go through here? We do have board wide with him. We can start using him. I mean, the team we just had would be fine. What was it, Furbath? Oh, we could go with a Radiant team. I want to try out our new Poison guy, but honestly... If I go with a whole Rally team, I just blow everything up. I mean, there's no reason to try to play free to play, right? Like, no reason at all. You just come in and you use what works and tears through all this stuff. We've been playing so many seasons. Don't worry. The force of the forest will always have your back. It appears we have a fight on our hands. This is what I do my speed runs with. No, not you, Ardrith. Not yet. We're going to bring in Garius. Can we not? Did you say we cannot lower heroes down? You said there's no way to drop back levels. We should have six days of it. We don't, huh? We don't have six days to lower our heroes back down to zero? Is it worth it to pull 80 on the beginning banner or wait? If you're in season four, you can. You have access to all heroes, but I would wait for the Oak Festival event. Or at least wait till we hear more about that. Look, you got a long time to pull on that 80 banner. We've got 30 days, 29 days before that goes away. I would wait. I would wait 20 days, 25 days, and see if we get new information about that. Then at that 25th day, or even if you want to wait till the 28th day, then you can summon on that banner. Yeah, no reset is pretty weird for a new season. Unless I'm just not seeing it. Let's go over to events. Usually it would be there. All right, there's rally. 
Click hero upgrade. Oh, is it there? Hard training. Log and reward. Okay, one Heliolite dice. And one Heliolite dice. <laughs> yeah, we've got 27 days. I would definitely wait. Wait till we hear word about the festival. It's going to be pretty big, and I think you're going to be better off saving it for that festival. Okay, we need to get the battle pass. Oh, we do have five days in 23 hours. It's right there on our hero. Great. Like we should. We we should every season. It, it shouldn't have changed. Okay, let's load up our rally again. Let's go over to this guy. Is it here? Is it one of these things? Oh, that puts him his favorite. It's under upgrade, huh? Reset. Five days, 20-something hours. That's good that we don't have to go anywhere. We can just do it right here. This is so smart. Before, we always had to go back out to the events page. We had to go to that little square on the events and do it there. This is so much better. Just right at the hero. Thank you, Dragonair, for doing that. Makes it way better. Okay, who do I want to make strong here? Don't believe Hubbard? For now? Higio is going to die pretty quick then. And maybe we should have made our tank stronger. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Garius is going to get some defensive stacks. He'll be all right. Where's our 10 times speed for Goblin? After eating all that popcorn, I feel like I got popcorn all in my teeth. Who's going to be the first goblin team, Stu? I think this is going to be my first goblin team. This is what I use as speed runs. I don't use it with Garius. I just use it with all rally. The fifth person that I use in here on... Who's the fifth person that I use on the end game? I can't remember who that person is. I don't use any healer when I'm doing speed runs at the end of the season, and I always use this team. And it's like 30 second runs. Some other form of rally. Welby. I have Welby in here. Let's blast him. Now, what I want is Filto, and Filto's on a special banner. If I didn't think there was an Oak event coming up, I would summon on the Filto banner right now. I really would. I want to summon. Believe me, I want to summon as bad as all of you want to summon, but I just can't do it. I can't do it on the Season 4 banner. It's not worth it. I need to be able to pull for an exclusive hero that has their own exclusive artifact. It's got to be one of those powerful exclusives. There's just no reason for me to summon on the Season 4 banner. But Filto's actually a pretty strong one. Even though he's not an exclusive hero, he doesn't have his own exclusive artifact. He's strong enough for me to want to summon for him, especially since I have the supporting cast. Let's go Lothair. Yeah, I can't wait. Boogeyman, if I can get Lothair or Rook, I will be so happy. Say we pull Lothair early, then I will switch over and try to go for Flora and Ash. Or maybe even Perk and Lightning. Because there's a lot of Lightning legendaries that I don't have. So many. I'm missing all of it. I'm missing Thurville, Garrett. Only thing I have is Sutha. She's the only Dauntless that I have. So if I can pick up Avelius, Nesjinka, Perk, I mean, any of those would be great. But I got to go with the strongest, right? We've got to go with the Rook, the Rook and Lothair. We got to take those guys out first. See if we can get one of them. 15, I guess we can bring Higio up. I prefer to resolve matters in a civilized fashion without... We don't have, that's right, we don't have a leader skill yet. We will, once we get to two star. Oh man, Garius is going down. 
Garius just died. Maybe we need to get some skill, uh, some levels into Garius. Or some gear. He almost got to his ultimate. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Man, these guys are strong. Ricky Bobby? Or Lorenthal. I only have Alton and Filtel. Yeah, Lorenthal is really... I mean, Filtel will do fine by himself in here. Because he does his battle skill and then he gets rally from doing the battle skill by hitting multiple targets. So he's okay by himself. But if you want to play him anywhere where there's not multiple targets, you need Lorenthal. Give him rally so he makes sure he hits extremely hard on that ultimate. I prefer to resolve matters in a civilized fashion. Yeah, this is so much better. Resetting right here and then I guess taking the level 5. Boring. How boring. Only battle can satiate this vessel. We're still not going to Three star this with the damage we were doing. We should probably save our stamina and go to the archway. See if we can beat the archway with the levels we have right now, which aren't very many, but maybe we can beat it, pick up coin, and pick up some gear. Quartermaster. Oh, we can steal some stuff right now. Steal, steal, steal. Southern Adinthia. The Quartermaster. At the Wolf Keep, Quartermaster at Oriz Koo something, the Living Tent, and the Crimson Crow. Let's go try to steal. And then there's another location to where we can steal at Source Tent, the Tavern. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you get lucky enough. Starlight dice it. I wonder what we can steal from there. Let's go check that first. We're not capped out on stamina, so there's no reason why we have to do this right now. Let's go to those areas and see what we can steal. It is Southern Adentha. Is that what we're in? We are. We are not. Okay, this is it. Now we need to go to Wolf Keep. Where's this tent? Is this tent near here too? It is. It's right there. All right, let's go to the tent first. Get caught and you lost gold? Man, don't lose gold. We don't have any gold right now. We should have gone and stole from everybody when we were poor. We don't have any. So even if they told us we owe them a thousand or three thousand, we don't have it on us. What are they gonna do? This one is the living tent. Hey, right there, easy. Well, easy when you roll what you need, right? Hmm. I'll take this ore. Man, our rolls are good. Let's go. Beautiful. Wolflar, what's up, buddy? Anything else to really trade for? No gear. Oh, the guild is up? I, can we join a guild right now? What's what's the guild? What's his name? Did they have to like we can't we can't use the same guild names we used in previous seasons, so they had to keep doing like XX Shadow. <laughs> you still can't you still can't use the old one. It's so dumb. So silly. 
they fixed that did they because we just did i guess shadows season four is fine shadows x4 atlas is dealing with this always deals with this so yeah i'm in there that's good okay we got some cool gear from here let's go and find what we've got down here at wolf keep This day one, day, you know, 30 minutes into the game, getting this kind of gear really helps out. We've got nothing. Main fort. All right, quartermaster. Yes. Please attack percentage or flat attack, I think is what we need right now. Flat attack. Wait a minute. Where's our points that we have in charisma? We haven't done any of our points yet. Oh, crap. Now, that'll reset tomorrow. From what people told me, that resets after a few hours. Maybe even like 10 hours, you can go back and check these people, and sometimes it's reset already. Yeah, make sure you do your points. So, I'm going to do intelligence because I love to get additional cooking. And then I'm going to do dexterity to get a few extra rolls. This is what I always do every season. A few extra rolls in stealing. Make sure you guys hit that. That way we'll have a better chance of stealing this stuff. Come on. <laughs> He's going to get me right now. How much gold? Uh, You were seeing things. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't me. Here we go. God. Even with this negative one, we can't do it. 3,000. Ah, 49,000. It's all right. I got to remember to come back to him. You know what I'm sad about? That we can't duel people every season. Why don't they reset those duels and those cool little encounters we have so we can run around everywhere and just duel people and get a little worm arrow, get some, some starlight dice, pretty fun I was able to make the dub hub club with the same spelling oh you were able to make the same alliance over again Tyros what's up man long time no see how you been did I miss anything let me know re repost if I missed something important I'm just having fun trying to get some gear really quick all right so we'll come back to this place now we got to go over to Outside of this town. Where's that? It's a town that starts with an E. And I have no idea how you say it. Is it this area, though? This one. Yeah. Uh, the merchant that's running around? We know this one. No, not that. Not that. Teleport. It says the tavern. Tavern owner, though. But this guy. This guy should have some gear. Shouldn't he have epic gear for sale? Look, this is basic gear, but I'll still take it. Almost. It's rare gear, but 25,000. No, there's an epic weapon for 100,000. And epic chess piece for a hundred thousand. Whew. Expensive. What tavern? Outside of the town. Oh yeah, Crow's Vendor. Okay, that was it. So we'll come back to him. I don't know if I want to spend my twenty-five thousand right now, should we? Not on a rare. I'd rather save up for a hundred thousand. And get an epic weapon. That'll add a lot of attack. But we do have other areas to actually... No, there's there's steel. These are all steel here as well. Regen, steel, steel, and steel. 
What about Boogeyman? The ones that you gave me prior, they weren't steel. Were they Were they part of this or was it a separate? Like, were these all the steel ones and then the ones that you gave me were the ones that you buy? Because I deleted the other post. Do we have to feed this to a cow? Yeah, we'll go to those. We've we've got those. Hold on. We're just going to do this quest. Right outside the terminus on path toward a cobweb death teleport, it says. Take your milk. I'm not your milk, man. What are we doing here? What is What kind of quest is this? Okay, we got a lot of levels. We got some gold. It's worth it. All of it's worth it. We unlock some new areas. Okay, we're here already. So this one is right side of Terminus. On a path toward the cobweb death teleport? What, what is the cobweb death teleport? Oh, this way. Wait. I think we went to try to find this last time and it wasn't described properly. The Crimson Crow Investigator. We steal from him. We're looking for a Crimson Crow Investigator. But on the path to the teleport. This teleport is over here, though. We should go around to the teleport. I think it's the other side, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the other side. Okay, you're right. Crimson Crow Investigator, right there. So just kind of like north of it, northwest. Epic gear, epic weapon. This is where we should have gone first. Yes, okay. <laughs> epic weapon, come on. One more shot. No, we didn't make it. Oh. At least we got the weapon. No, no, you, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Please, let me win this one. Got it. But we still can't steal from her right now. But I'm telling you, people online were getting mad at me because I thought you couldn't steal to the next day. But they said you could come back hours later and see and be able to steal again. So if that's the case, later on tonight, I'll try to come back to these locations. I just got to remember which ones I had problems with. Investigator, now we need to go inside the Delver's Deep Town lobby and lobby. Delver's Deep Town. But what about all the areas where we can purchase from? Like the merchants that we can purchase things from. Oh, nice. Come on. There we go. Two in a row, baby. We got this. Plus two, plus two. Nope. Yes, he does. Like crazy. Plus, he makes it so easy. He's healing everybody. He's decreased attacking everything. He's just like Sonaro and Sigrid. You got it made. I mean, Sonaro and anybody. Seriously, you got it made. He just makes everything simple. We cannot win these rolls. Another 3k? 10k? What? Are you talking about? What is up with this lady? Lady just took 10k from us. I guess that's what happens when you get caught stealing. It's the price you gotta pay for being a crook. Wow, that lady took all my gold, so I got to come back to her now. Sourceton Tavern. And we're going to steal from the tavern owner. What the hell is Sourceton? I don't see a Sourceton. Did they misspell the name? Is there a... Oh, there it is. Right there. That is correct. Q 
Okay. Tavern owner. Hmm. He doesn't have anything this time. We've got some radiant. We've got some lightning in a bottle stuff. And that guy's was going up with me just sitting there looking at his <laughs> looking at his stuff. And this guy's got nothing. But on this list you have, how come how come you don't have the places to where we can go buy from? Because we can't steal from the guy running around, not the not the other gear. We can steal some things from him, but we can also buy. Wasn't there somebody we could buy from? I could swear there was somebody we could buy from up here too. There was another merchant that had some more runes, right? Don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, if you want to, sure, but what are you going to use? What heroes are they going to use? I thought there was there was for sure another merchant somewhere hanging around here that we could either steal from or we could buy from. Like these are all steel. I think there's other merchants out there that we can, we need to put on a list that are ones that you just buy from. All right, how much do we have? How much gold do we got right now? And I could swear there was something here. Sells Epic Gear. Yeah, the one that was running around sells Epic Gear. Two pieces, 100,000 each. We'll go back to them for sure. What? Yeah, we need 100,000 for those epic pieces, and we just don't have that right now. We're only at 49,000. But I don't know. I could swear there was somebody in here that had some gear too. PvP to earn some gold. Same poor life. Uh, you do some PvP to earn. Can we earn some gold over there by running that? Yeah, we'll go do some PvP. Let's check the market first. See, these are cheap. This is rare gear for 5,000 where that one guy running around has rare gear for like 25,000 and then the epic gear for 100,000. But this gear is extremely cheap. And there's five of each. So I can load up my whole team with some weapons. I knew it. I knew there was gear here. Oh, we need we need coin to level this up. All right, I'm going to go to 6. Let's give Garius this one. Higio, we got Lorenthel. Alton. All right, 4 DPS and a support. So do I want to buy gloves could be attack attack percentage HP. I mean, there's no telling what we're going to get. And this helmet is crazy high. See what I mean? It's so weird that this helmet is 25,000. Just like all that other gear from that guy running around is 25,000. But here it's 5,000 for this. This is definitely where we should go. Hey stream. What's going on? Or YouTube too? No, it's just, it's just streaming here. We're not on YouTube as well. We should be. Unfor we really should be. I should set that up. Maybe with me streaming uh, Trislin, if I'm going to enjoy that, we'll stream to both. Okay, I got two of each. Let's see if we got lucky. Flat defense for Garius or... We don't even want crit rate. Just attack or attack percentage. Preferably flat attack right now. Defense, crit rate. Defense, attack. Let's give him attack. If 
flat defense is probably going to be best for him, but let's give him this defense percentage. At least if I get two pieces that match, I can get 15% additional attack. So we'll go over to him and give HP. I prefer to be doing matters in a civilized fashion without being provided. Let's give him defense since he'll be in the front line. Resistance. Crit rate. Alright, pretty good. And we're poor now. We have no coin no master of coins here so we can come back and get a few more from this guy if we want to and then we'll go buy the epics for a hundred thousand and then there were those two places that i stole from i think maybe three places that i stole from that we got caught and we'll have to go back and check those later tonight or tomorrow morning we can make some really good food right now if we want to buy do i have enough what was it for the attack percentage? It was just like beast meat. I'm going to hold off. I'm going to wait. Did you sell gold and drag? I didn't sell. Did I sell? Did I steal gold? There's an NPC you can steal 30k from. Which one? The blacksmith? Well, we'll try. <laughs> yeah, 30k. We are poor, my friend. Let's go. Where's the blacksmith? In the market? Port? I thought he's going to be at the port. This guy? Ooh, with only a 12. Plus, I'll take this beast meat. Yeah, let's go. Thank you, thank you much. Uh, he doesn't jump up really high, so that's good. I shouldn't do this, because I don't want to pay 3,000 or 10 grand like we did for that one girl that got us, that nabbed us. Oh, he's got gear too. He's got 25,000 gear for rares. I'll stick with the 5,000 for the stuff we can get right now, and then we'll go buy the epics. We'll come back for this 25,000 if we uh, once we start getting some some coin, which we will if we actually play the game. We've just been running around everywhere. Let's go in here. We should be able to beat this. You think we're strong enough with this gear with really low levels? What are these guys? Are level one or two? Level three. All right, sink all of those. Whoops. Man, Garius is going down. Man, these guys are only level three. They're beating down my level 18 Garius like he's nothing. Just saw some poor bastards summoning little Wannis. Really? Midnight? It, what was he summoning? He's summoning on the 80 banner. <laughs> we get 6k per win for PvP. That's the way to go, man. 6k per win? All right, we'll go over there. Let's do a few more fights. We've only got so many healing potions, too. Here we go. We're going to get some healing from this. Bring everybody back. Let's heal them up. Let's look at what he's got. I mean, the dude's level 19. He's got defense percentage, which isn't great. This only brought his defense up by 37, which is kind of a waste. Because percentage based right now, this low is not good for us. No food. Let's see how he does. Okay, he's doing better now. We throw the gatekeeper staff on him and everything's easy. Or we bring Snarl in. We could have we could have kept playing the poison with Snarl. That would have been fine for Goblin. Oh, we've got days. We can we can reset all these people and bring in the poison team with the new poison guy that we just pulled. That would be fun. It, at least we'd see something different. Maybe we can even see these guys attack each other. Good 
Good heal, good heal. <laughs> Who's laughing all crazy? 80 on the 80 banner and you got three dupes? Stagamuffin. Phasia is cool, but not Erich. Stagamuffin and Erich? Well, that's three new artifacts, I guess. Why didn't you save for the Oak event? Look, guys, the Oak event's supposed to have a lot of other stuff, too, and they might make it even better. Was that Garius laughing? Like that? I never heard him laugh that way before. Let me turn it up. Oh, Higi went down again. I'll give in to lie at this point. They have advertised it for quite a long time. I will say that. It's been many, many months since they said it was going to come out. And then they kept pushing it back over and over and over again. So I'm with you. It could be a lie, but we do have 27 days on that banner. You have 27 days to summon 80. What if they come out in the next 10 days and tell you there's this big new event. The Oak event has been made even better. You only have to summon... 80 and you get like an exclusive hero make sure you have a backup plan i'm just saying make sure you have a backup plan make sure you got some money set aside or or something you never know what could happen you have another 37 saved save more yeah you might need to save more we'll just see what the event says it, it is it is kind of a meme at this point yes for the oak event Oh, no, no, no. 50? No, I don't want that. Too expensive. Too expensive. I just wanted to come in here to buy some ore that I do every day. That's too expensive right now as well. Everything's too expensive. We got the horn. We can blow on the horn. Is zero appearing to free to play? Yeah, but we don't even know anything about it, honestly. Even, even not free to play. I don't have any more healing little solvents solvents stuff it's okay who needs it who needs healing we'll just come in here at one hp everybody at one hp see what happens was it four? Oh no it was only three i think we Got it all. All right, we'll beat this big bad and then we'll go check out some PvP and see what that's like. Maybe we'll beat this big bad. <laughs> Garius falling over immediately is never a good sign. But he's got such low HP. Oh, yeah, killed them all, killed them all. What's this dude? This guy's like summoning help. All right, it's up to you, Hubberg. Hit them all. Hit them all before they move forward. Got him. Oh, solo. Not going to happen. <laughs> Ice blasts are good enough. Hey, man, if we had um, Miro, the new Ice Blast that heals himself by a lot, maybe he would have healed himself right there. But he has to do a lot of damage to heal. It's based off of his damage. He needs those pin map pins up. I really don't want to pay to heal my people. Let me, let me grab this, whatever that is. Okay, more rewards. And we should be able to craft some of that healing stuff. All right, we'll get back to you. Challenge. This team? Thank you. 
I'm hoping these are bat bot teams where they don't have any gear at all. How is that Ice Blast hero anyway? Do you pull him? Uh, at least he looks like he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. He does a little bit lower damage than Girthin, but he heals himself by quite a bit. I say he's okay, but he's single target. And that's kind of sad because now we have a new epic Ice Blast cat girl that does AoE. She's ranged. She does a 3x3 three three hit. I mean, the only thing this guy does is heal himself and increase his critical damage and ignore some defense when there's enough increase in critical damage up. When he has five map pims up, he's going to ignore 60% defense. But if you're if you're getting 100% additional critical damage, ignoring 60% defense, and you can't do as much damage as Girthin's doing, there's something wrong. And you're a legendary? That's just kind of... Maybe on a high defense target? It's still kind of messed up. Like, I just don't get it. I don't get how you introduce a legendary and you introduce a, uh, an epic at the same time and that epic does far more damage than that legendary the new epic does and it does aoe and it's ranged and yes this new legendary can heal himself some it just doesn't make a lot of sense i mean it's cool for all of us out there who just get epics you know who aren't like big spenders so hopefully you get her and you're able to use her but it's not cool when you pull that legendary not really. <laughs> Who's sending me a message? Do we really get 6,000 gold per battle? There it is, 6,000. You're right. Like Theo Hearn? He should do more damage. He really, really should do more damage. He's only single target. There's no way an epic that can do AOE in its range when he's melee should be doing more damage than him. It just, like, that That just doesn't factor right. It's great that we have epics that can do well. I really enjoy that, but when they blow away a legendary that's brand new, like, they both come out together, and the legendary is always in worse shape because he's melee, so he's always up in the battle. He's always getting hit. And it's cool that he heals himself. I really do like that he does that, but he doesn't really heal himself massively unless you have a lot of map pins on a target. And he only puts map pins on a target when he does damage to them, I think it was. So it's not like he's putting map pins out on everybody out there. Just doing it on that one target. Then his healing goes up. It takes time. His damage needs to ramp up, so that takes time as well. It's kind of weird. Not the way I would have gone. Keep that epic strong, yes. But make this legendary do more damage. It's kind of it's kind of like one of those things in games where you want single target to do more damage than AOE heroes because they're single target. You want melee to do more damage because they're melee, they're up in the mix, they die more often. So you kind of want to make them a little bit stronger. Like there's a certain way you should kind of program most heroes. And then you have the exceptions out there. <laughs> Zorak, put him in the bench. Yeah, I'm waiting to get the epic. I want the Ice Blast epic one. I We pulled the rare from our summons. Can we keep going? These guys are level 20. They don't have gear, though. They are dying. I'm pretty sure these are bots. We'll have enough to go buy an epic piece after this. Well, if we die, we don't lose anything, and we still get the rewards. So that's good. The way that they've changed the arena. We also need coin to level up the gear that we're getting, though. <laughs> we didn't really level up our epic weapon very high oh level 30 hmm one more battle I'm just gonna instant this one there we go
Which one? She's a Fey. She's a Fey or Trials epic? Oh, really? Who are the Fey and Trial epics? I actually didn't pay attention to that when when we were testing everything out. I I didn't go check here and see. How do you know? You can select and obtain an epic hero from the hero list. How do we know what this hero list is? From your blue paper? Hey, congrats. That's nice. From blue, blue scrolls. All right. So we currently have... 224k gold so we could go buy an epic from this running around merchant you think it's worth it just one we could buy two but we wouldn't have any coin then to level it up but i guess we might as well pick it up we'll get coin okay nothing left to steal from him oh no we can only the chest i'm not too worried about the chest but the combination of the two like having both would give us attack and crit rate let's do it <laughs> let's just do it oh yeah now we're poor and i won't come back for these it's 15 hp but we've got all those other ones over there that we can buy for five thousand each instead of twenty five thousand, and it's rare the other rare just gives us 15 percent attack this gives us 15 percent hp so there's no need for us to come back to this guy i think we're good Now, who are we going to put this on? Oh, you're quite the captivating sort. Oh, this isn't mere empty flattery. Keep Higio alive. Keep Garius alive. And we'll level him up the most. Enlightenment? <laughs> Not what we need. Damn. 227,000 to level that, level this one up. It's pricey, don't, pricey on day one. Later on, no, but right now, yeah. That's just attack and attack. Attack and alignment, attack and accuracy. How does it my renown echo throughout the land? It's impossible for you not to have heard of me. Okay, everybody's pretty set. Except for gloves on Alton. Let's go see how this boss is. Got some more experience. We'll hit up Faye too, because it's good to jump back and forth between Faye as you're leveling up. You get some pretty good rewards. Rank up material, experience, coin, all the stuff we need. Oh, we didn't use that code yet. You did say there's a new code, right? Oh, crap. That was a long time ago. What was it? Dragonair Season S4? What is save? Save the gear that we got on right now. Yes. Will we make this one? I think we're going to make it this time. I thought there was a new one. Somebody posted earlier that said like Dragonair Season 4 and I actually did not use it. So let me go over here and look on my Discord to see if somebody posted it in our Discord redeem code section. Yeah, Dragonair S4. It's here. This is a new code. And this is a new code. And if you didn't use this, use this one from a few days ago, this is a new code. Hopefully they all work. 
So three new codes in the last few days. That's not bad, actually. Um, where do I go? It's been a while. They used to do redeem codes all the time. Now, now it's been a little while. Dragon Airs. Or that's probably Dragon Air S4. They should have done a capital S. Got it? S4. Okay, any big ones or are all the same? Well, it's a lot of gold. Hey, there we go. This one. Which code was this? Dragon Air Season 4? We got a gold dice, guys, and two Heliolite dice. This is good. We need to make a video on this tonight. I'm sure everybody else has already done a redeem code video. I'm going to be late because I'm streaming. Increases chance to make extra food. Intelligence. Intelligence is the one that does that. All right. Collect all. How long have we been on? Two hours and 19 minutes. Let's go. So many new things. All right, we should be able to open up a new, what is it? Crafting? Oh no, just cart. Uh, I'll get around to buying these eventually, but not right now. I guess I should buy a few more of these. We're back up to 253,000. Was there any other Epic gear we could buy somewhere? I thought there was. I'm pretty sure there's another place we can actually buy Epic gear. I could swear there was two different no, we went to the two locations. I'm pretty sure there was a place up here. Right? In the Dark Elf area that we could buy Epic gear from. And then this one... Wasn't there a few pieces of Epic gear as well with all that rare? That cheap rare gear for 5,000 each. And they had that one piece for 25,000. But did they not have an Epic piece? No, no epic piece. Okay, we'll get one more glove for... No, it's 5,000. We'll get all these. Because we're looking for some good main stats. Plus, we'll get some helmets. That way, we'll have a four-piece set. Our two two-piece sets of 15% additional attack. I think three is all we'll need. No, no, we need all five. We don't have any other helmets. Oh, helmets are way expensive. What am I doing? Helmets are the ones that are 25k. Oh, shit. Crimson enchantment near pillars? Is that what it is? Near the pillar? I knew there was somebody. Let me go check it out right now. Since you're here, you can guide us. Oh, we already went to this guy above here. And we tried to steal. And we got caught. Yeah, he has epic gear, but we couldn't. Could we buy it as well? We'll just wait to come back and steal it. Oh, he reset. Man, these things reset quick. It's only been like 30 minutes. <laughs> Let's go. It, only, it doesn't take long. Some of these guys that catch you stealing, you can come back. What, what's it been? Like 30, 45 minutes since we've seen him? And it reset. Already it reset for us. Nice. I just thought there was somebody else that has runes. I could swear there's somebody near here that has runes for sale or stealing. It was like a gnome. Some vendor hanging out somewhere around here. There, there is, right? Somewhere. They're common runes? Yeah, I'll take them. I don't know when we can use them, but yeah, it was somewhere around here, right? 
I don't think it was going right here. I don't think we need to go right. I think it was just going north. There's some rare runes that we get from somebody else too. Our epic, rare epic runes. But then there was one other vendor. The lobby merchant. We did that already. Just trying to find this other one that I remember. It's not written down. Yeah, we did that already. And we kind of... I think we got caught or we got both of those. We can see if we have we have them in our backpack or not. So we got one. One of the two. We need to go back and see if it's refreshed or not. Because we did get caught a few times stealing. And we had to pay the price on one really hefty of 10,000 <laughs> coins. One got us good. Alright, we got the adjoining... Hey, attack percentage, pretty sweet. Okay, now we can put a helmet here and get 15% additional attack. Nice. What was his enlightenment? How does it feel like being happy in Carefree? My renown echoes throughout the land. All right, we're looking strong. Stronger. <laughs> For sure, stronger. Where is uh, defense? Did I get a flat defense? No defense, no defense percentage. Okay, HP. I'll take HP. And he's got no helmet. Poor Gorius. What are we looking at, Ron? What's going on? We were looking at stealing and, and getting, you know, all this stuff for our healer heroes. Getting them some gear right now. I think they're pretty good. We should go back to goblins and see what we can accomplish. We do have a couple other, like, these keep unlocking. We've got Faye to do... We have these, but I'm going to wait till the end of the week. We've got five days and 15 hours to do this rift, which will be much stronger in a few days. Very quickly, we'll be stronger. Should be able to three-star this. We couldn't before, so we didn't try. Save all the gear we have. Yeah, we backed out because we, we weren't going to three-star it. So then we started going around, stealing everywhere, doing the arena for the coin that you guys told me about. And now we're much stronger. Finishing that first archway, beating that boss. Yeah, if you guys come up with anything else, any new codes, make sure you come over to my Discord. It's down below. Everybody's posting all the codes immediately when they pop up. And this Dragonair Season 4 one is amazing. To get gold dice. Easy times. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. I'm going to head out. I've got some stuff to do. I have to take my kids to dinner. Then I've got to take them to their tutor. After that, I'll probably come home, make some YouTube videos, and play this all night long. And then we'll be back tomorrow to continue with Season 4. But thank you all for joining me. Appreciate the love and support. I hope you all have the best of luck on all of your summons. If you're not playing Dragonair, come and join us. Please come and join us and join us down below in our Discord. Yeah, good luck with everybody on all your new summons if you're summoning and whatever else you're doing. Like, you're going to eventually summon, right? And we'll hopefully hear more about the Oak event soon enough. Any new stuff comes out, we'll put it out on my YouTube. But I will be back tomorrow. I've got a stream every day this week. So we'll be here. Yeah. All right, everyone. Take care. I'll